Uh, just quickly, Liz, to the US. You know, it's incredible to me that Joe Biden is still president there with, with so many wars raging. And he's not with us half the time. I don't know that he actually can figure out what he's talking about. So take this exchange. Reporters are asking him about the Israeli strike now on the Houthi extremists in Yemen who fired missiles at Israel, choked off shipping through the Suez Canal to punish Israel. Biden talked instead about a strike in U.S. ports. Have a listen to this. Any comment on the strikes in Yemen, Mr. President? Liz, that's a little freaky. I think he's very confused here. I think he thinks they're asking him about the labour strikes, which are massive at the moment. The shipping companies are like, we're not doing this anymore. They've been offered a 50% pay rise. They're pushing for 77% or everybody else can go jump. So he's saying, oh, they can just sort it out. Yeah, there'll be a settlement. There'll be some sort of deal. He doesn't actually know what he's being asked about. In that same stop by the press, he was also asked, are you going to deploy any more people to the Middle East? He replied, no. And the very next day, the Pentagon announced that the US would be sending thousands more troops <laughs> to the Middle East. Oh so my God. I think at this point, Andrew, I'm not sure that America has a president at all. And no, you can it, bet your bottom dollar so if true. the Democrats win. What would Kamala say to that question as well? She'd probably start out by telling us that she was raised in a middle class family. Oh, absolutely. I've heard that story so often now. It's like, uh, uh, you know, Anthony Albanese raised a single mum in the <laughs> Housing Commission flat. Uh, Will Kingston, Thank you so much to you both. I oh, know, exactly.